All right, so here's a question I have for you. Are you in the trades? Are you a lawn care or landscape pro? If so, I'm guessing that you're bringing batteries to the job site or along with you for the day. How many batteries do you use? So if you're looking for a good way to organize your batteries and to leave your house in the morning fully charged with a nice stock of batteries, I think you're gonna like this setup right here from Milwaukee. Let's take a closer look. So what this is right here, the Milwaukee Packout M18 six bay rapid charger. So first of all, you can see this stacks on top of your Packout, or as I showed you earlier, it goes on the Packout wall like that. So here's how it works. You can put any M18 battery, and what it does, it charges two batteries at once. So once these two are charged, it moves onto these two, and then it moves onto these two, doing these at the same time. And it might not be real easy to see, but there is a little arrow in there, so it does show the direction goes that way. So let's say you have some three amp hour batteries you wanna charge first. You're gonna to wanna to put them over here. And then if you want to have something else you're not really gonna use until later on, then you put those at the end. So if you're charging these inside your house overnight, it probably really doesn't matter. What I do is I'll just try to pair two of the same batteries, like the 12 amp hour high output and the eights, and then these are the fives. So the nice thing about this, besides mounting it on a pack out system, it has this nice handle. So if you're just going out for the day and you need to get out of the house quick with your batteries, you have this carrying handle right here and you have six fresh batteries. So I've been in many discussions over the years talking with people that are shifting everything over to battery powered instead of gas powered or corded power. So depending on what line of work you're in, but I know like in the lawn care landscaping, the one thing is being able to leave your house in the morning with enough batteries and then being able to charge them up overnight. And the nice thing about this right here is that everything just locks into place, doesn't go anywhere. And then if you need to bring this with you overnight, it's all in one portable caddy system right here. Or if you're at a job site, you might be needing to rotate through batteries throughout the day. And having this setup right here, I'll show you. Having multiple chargers like this to plug your batteries in, this really isn't ideal either. I mean, you can work this way, but to be more efficient, this right here is the way to go. And then if you look over here, this flips down, there is a USB. So if you need to keep your phone charged or maybe some other type of device, you can do that. And then right here is a little tray on both sides. So if you want to stick your phone in there to uh, do your charging, you can do that as well. There's also a tray on this side right here. So you don't have to keep flipping this thing around to set your phone down. And then as you can see right here, it has a built-in AC cord. Looks like it's maybe about five foot long. And there is this little clip on there, which is nice for cord management. So this wraps around there quick and easy. And then this will clip right into the side there and you're not dragging around a mess. So you can just go to the job site, you can go to your house, from your house, with just this right here, and you have six batteries. So the thing to point out with this, it's a rapid charger, so there is another charger that's a little bit slower than this, and there's also a supercharger that's faster than this. But this, I would say, is probably what you're gonna find most people out in the field using is a rapid charger. So if you're wondering about the charge times on something like this, I'll be showing you that in just a minute. So a lot of times when I'm testing out tools, I like to see what some people are saying online, like asking some questions about this. So hopefully I can answer them for you. And then I also like to see what some concerns are and the ratings. So in the reviews, there are some people that didn't give it a five star because they believe that it would be better if it had the pack out locking system on top. So, you know, as you can see, this just has the handle right here, which I think is really convenient. I see a lot of people bringing this from their maybe like an enclosed job trailer inside their house or garage and then back out in the morning of their truck or vehicle. And I don't think it's too difficult to just go ahead and put this on there because you're probably gonna need this right away. And if you stack it like in the middle of your pack out, then you're just gonna probably have to take it out anyway. So that's my take on it. I don't feel that that is big of a concern. There's some people who like to see a M12 battery that could be charged maybe two M12s as well. That would definitely be nice. I would like to see that, but there's probably just not room at the moment. There's also some people 
they would like to see some of the Milwaukee USB batteries. And this is something that I would really like to see if you're at a job site where it's really cold working outside. So here's a look at the battery from the heated gloves. So it'd be nice to be able to take this battery right here and then always have two that are charging. Let's say you're trying to keep your hands warm on a really cold winter day. I can remember working at a job site when I was probably like 19 or 20 and it was so cold. We just left, I was working with somebody, he had a van, he left it running all day and just had the heater full blast. And at the outdoor job site, we each had a couple pair of gloves and we would just rotate the gloves. We'd just put them on top of the heater inside the cab and then like every so often we'd switch them out with the other pair because you know they get really cold and that's what i think would be really nice is if this had the usb that's what i would like to see but i'd say most people are probably just going to be using the m18s but wishful thinking it'd be nice that there is room to add a couple chargers in there somewhere and you know i was just thinking back to how cold that job was we were doing some type of leveling with some peers and we were using this water line level that had vehicle, like windshield wiper antifreeze in it. And I remember that line freezing up. It was that cold, which has never happened before. All right, so let's roll this back into the garage and I'll show you one more time how this locks out onto the packout wall. So like all the packouts, everything's locked into place. So you just push it up to release it. Everything is nice and neat. You can turn upside down. You're not gonna lose anything. So if you wanna store it on the wall, this part goes up. Get aligned and there you go. So I know I spent a lot of time talking about the benefits of having this to bring to a job site, but there's also a nice benefit for those that aren't doing that, but are just working out of a shop or their garage. It's nice having six batteries right here. Cause I don't know if you're like me, you're wondering sometimes where you're gonna store some of your batteries. This is a great place to store them. It's also a place where you're always gonna have them charged. And there's also some other solutions that I have. If you're interested in this wall system, so check out this item right here. You can put this on your wall. This is for storing your M18 batteries. All right, let's say now that these 12 amp hour batteries are charged, so they just lock in place. So if you wanna have a place for your charge batteries, or maybe you're also rotating batteries, you need a place to put your batteries that are waiting to be charged. You could also get another one of these, maybe put it on the other side. All right, so I'm just starting to get into this wall system right here. So you're gonna be seeing that on my channel. All right, if you were wondering in the beginning why I use the Milwaukee paint pen, the Inksol, to put my name on this battery right here. So let's say you're at a job site and you bring this with you to keep your batteries charged and somebody else is there with their Milwaukee tools. They may see how handy this is. They might wanna plug their battery in and ask you. And the last thing you want is someone to get confused and think that Maybe this right here belongs to them. That would be a $249 mistake. So it's quick and easy. I use this pen right here all the time. So it just takes a second. So there's no confusion. So one thing I want to point out, I didn't realize this until I started testing it. So if you, let's say you're just out at a remote job site and you want to charge your phone, you have a cord. If this isn't plugged into AC, then your USB won't power and charge your phone. Just want to let you know it's not running off the batteries for doing that. So to charge your phone, you do have to plug this in and then plug your USB into that. So I'm going to show you real quick the test that I put together last night with my GoPro doing a time lapse. So I had all six of these batteries completely drained. So when you push the fuel gauge, it was just blinking. In this time lapse, I start the clock at the high noon position and you can see the big two batteries in the bottom are charging first. Those take two hours, and then it goes on to the middle two, charge them in sequence. Those take hour and a half, and then the two small batteries on top take one hour. All right, so now I'd like to know what you think about this rapid charger. Is it right for you? If you wanna see some of the questions, some of the reviews on this, I will have a link to the Home Depot to some of those things I was talking about. There you can see the current price. All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna be talking about pretty soon on the channel here, the Milwaukee Packout Shop Storage. So let me know what you would like to see stored or what questions you have. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Thanks for watching. See you next time.